One of the really useful things for me about this was the accuracy of the deployment because around the thoracic arch, accurate deployment is really key when you're dealing with the blood supply to the head and neck. One of the things though that we always had slight concerns about was occasionally the bare springs protruding forward from the front of the A stent and that was necessary though for that accurate delivery system. However, with Navion now, um, we are able to actually have a covered seal. So we have tip capture, accurate delivery, and no bare springs at the front. So this is a great step forward for me, particularly I think for those patients with the fragile aortas. Um, I think those patients with dissections and intramural hematomas, I think we've always had a bit of concern about the bare springs at the front, but we needed them to get that accuracy of deployment, and now we don't. Now we've got the best of both worlds. I think that the having the combination of covered seal and bare springs will allow us to treat a greater range of pathologies, and I think it will allow us for the first time ever really to differentiate the different sorts of aneurysmal and dissection pathologies and we'll choose specific devices from within a range to treat specific conditions and I think that will increase our use of the device. There has been at least a four French uh, decrease in size of the devices uh, so the prior device was about it was anywhere from 22 to uh, 25 French, uh, which made uh, delivery of this system in patients with uh, aortoiliac occlusive disease or those with small vessels uh, somewhat difficult to do. Still doable, but uh, added a significant amount of time uh, and complexity to the procedure. So this decrease in size to me really has has really made the procedure as simple as I've seen anything changed something in a long time. It doesn't actually sound like a significant change, but it significantly reduces the procedure time across the board for all patients. So those in the past where it was easy, it's really easy. In the past where those were very difficult, we've now just progressed down to sort of a simple case even for them. So it really takes away the angst of the physician as they're sort of starting the procedure, uh, as well as at the very end of the procedure. So getting up and getting out has become very simple and it makes me very happy. And the benefit to my patients that I've seen is extraordinary. I don't know if it's going to expand it, but again, as I said, it's going to make it simpler. And making it simpler uh, improves outcomes and decreases complications as well as decreases costs. So we could still do those patients, but we would have to sort of do a cut down or a, a flank incision, sew a conduit on, which in and of itself is a uh, can be a fairly complex procedure, especially in patients who have... Uh, uh, a body habitus that's a little bit more challenging to get that conduit so if they're more obese uh, then the depth and to, to get down to that vessel and sew that conduit on by keeping the incision small um, is is basically removed so I think it does increase the applicability but again I think it significantly decreases the complexity of this procedure The Navion device is coming with uh, multiple uh, options available to treat uh, all the pathologies of the thoracic aorta and this means that uh, for, for the um, physician that had to, to face uh, different anatomies and different uh, uh, diseases of the aorta, this device can cover all the needs that we have uh, in everyday life. Neurologic morbidity after TIVR is always been a concern, and uh, with this device, uh, 
that has been completely redesigned, the way of deploying the graft uh, has been totally changed. Uh, we do not need any particular mov movement, uh, especially in the arch, to deploy uh, the graft correctly at the target uh, location. So we just need to reach the point and deploy the graft uh, at the intended location without too many movements up and down uh, inside the arch. And uh, we think that uh, with such a deployment uh, uh, mechanism, we can lower the risk uh, of uh, detaching embolic particles uh, uh, from the aorta. The other th very important thing and that uh, is lowering the, the profile uh, of the device uh, enhances uh, a lot uh, the, the trackability of the device, again, uh, without uh, endangering the wall of the aorta that is already diseased. I think they've really designed a, uh, a platform of stent grafts, if you will, to treat all disease pathologies across the board. Uh, so you have one that has uh, no metal at the top. That has been a concern for physicians in the past. And uh, that can be used to treat more fragile aortas, the dissections, the intramural hematomas. And for those that don't necessarily need that, uh, you still have the similar platform to what you had, but with that reduced profile. So again, making the complexity of the procedure more simple, improving outcomes, uh, and, and decreasing complications. So it really uh, allows the physician to sort of have a choice in how they're going to manage a patient.